Hello, this is Mrs. McKaney. Today I'm going to deliver to you a short presentation on how to succeed in your computer science mark. We'll start with what you need to know. You're going to be sitting two papers during your marks, in the same way that you did this for your P2S1. They're both written papers, each lasts 90 minutes, and each is worth 80 marks. Each paper then accounts for 50% of your final grade. The first paper, component one, is focused on computer systems and will include short and medium length questions along with one eight mark question. Component one will cover the following topics. 1.1, systems architecture. 1.2, memory and storage. 1.3, computer networks, connections and protocols. 1.4, network security. 1.5, system software and 1.6, the ethical, legal, cultural and environmental impacts of digital technology. Next up we have component two. It's the second element and is focused on com computational thinking, algorithms and programming, and it consists of short and medium answer questioning. It's split up into two halves, section A, which is assessing your knowledge and understanding of computer science concepts, then using a coding or an algorithmic approach to answer them, and then section B, you'll be asked to design, write, test and refine programs using Python. Component 2 covers the following topics. 2.1, algorithms. 2.2, programming fundamentals. 2.3, producing robust programs. 2.4, Boolean logic. And 2.5, programming languages and integrated development environments. So, how should you prepare? Firstly, use a topic list to identify what you do not feel confident in. Make these your first revision priorities. Review your P2S1 papers and your books of excellence. You've marked and purple penned your assessments and this is a really powerful tool for you to learn from. You can use these to help you to highlight your areas or improvement. For your keyword definitions, consider flashcards. These might help you with those tricky definitions. Practice exam questions. Your focus this year needs to be on helping the examiner to award you the marks that you deserve. The more you practice this, the easier you will find it. You can use Craig and Dick videos to support with any gaps in your core knowledge. These short, easy to access videos can really help. And you can also attend Friday after school sessions for any focused support. And speak to me to let me know if there's anything else that I can do for you. Outside of this, the best resources. I mean, I would obviously say that um, your core knowledge, your class books, your books of excellence and your knowledge organisers are a great resource. You've worked to build them up over time. Don't ignore these. You have worked hard on them. When you look at external resources, make sure you're always looking at OCR J277 specification. This is the specification that we're working to, so it's important you get the right information. Supporting this, we have the 938 page document. We're using class quite a bit. We've got BBC Bite Size, Craig and Dave, and also GCSE Pod. They're all available to you. <clears throat> I also do encourage you, as before, to use past exam papers. If you need support with this, just let me know. So, believe in yourself, work hard, and I look forward to support, supporting you and marking your excellent work in the near future. Good luck.